go town, the cops just get the run around. Wham bam, Capal, who's gonna help us now? <laughs> Call the feds, the people cry, and these bad guys got no alibi. Is there a crime buster in the house? Call for Elliot Mouse. No baloney, this guy's no phony, honest to the bone. Step on the gas mag, trap that bad guy. These streets at night, the sirens wail and bullets fly. We need a little justice now. Call for Elliot Mouse. We're living fear of cheese racketeers. Reach for the sky. But we've got tough guys on our side, so kiss your kids goodbye. Incredible. Incredible. Unbribable. Unbribable. The untouchable. The untouchable. It's Elliot Mouse in old cheese cargo. September day and the city of Cheese Chicago was recovering from yet another blow dealt by its greatest enemy, organized crime. The city was once again without cheese, thanks to the theft of a large shipment headed for Cheese Chicago's stores. In a city without cheese, the citizens were forced to resort to the black market in order to acquire some of the stable diet that kept the city on its feet. Denied their normal supplies, shopkeepers were forced to buy cheese sold to them by various gangs of smugglers and cheese bootleggers. With a large number of the city's police bribed by the gangsters, there was little the citizens could do to fight these crooks. Cheese Chicago had become a city without law, where people would use any means to get what they most desired. To try and end this situation, the federal mouse hole of investigation sent Cheese Chicago its most highly qualified mouse. Agent Elliot Mouse. So there I was, Tino Baratti of the Cheese Cargo Tribune, first with the story. Is this all you can offer us, Chief? Sorry, Mr. Mouse, I had no idea when you'd be arriving, and as you haven't informed me what your mission is in this city, well, how am I supposed to know what your needs are? Well, I can tell you what our needs are, Chief. What we want is a fully furnished office, not the dusty flea pit you've given us. We're here to try and protect Cheese Cargo's shopkeepers. If we're gonna clean all the thieves and smugglers out of Cheese Cargo, then we gotta start right away. Well, if it's cleaning you're after, I've got some brooms in that closet over there. And we don't appreciate your cheesy sense of humor. Don't fly off the chair. I was just calming you down. When the police do nothing to stop stories like these being my daily cheese and drink, how can I keep calm? Speaking of cheese, how about this? Oh, yeah! Boy, that smells yummy! Now what do you think you're trying to do? It's all very simple, Agent Mouse. If you like cheese, that is. Get that out of my face! Yeah. Can't you see he's trying to bribe us? Ah, don't get your mozzarella in a mix. If I were you, Chief, I'd hang on to that cheese and enjoy it while you can, because the very next thing I'm gonna do is to inform your superiors about what has just transpired in this office. I'll make sure you can't even give out parking tickets. You got that? Oh, come on, Agent oh, Mouse. Why don't what? you calm down? Calm down? It was a test. I always test people when they first arrive. So if it wasn't a bribe, can I have a piece? I'm sorry, it's departmental property. We understand, Chief. You'll have to forgive Agent Gordon. Oh, that's great. You must be tired after your trip, so while we get your office fixed up, why don't you have a little rest? Which hotel are you staying at? The Hotel Gorgonzola. Call us when you got everything ready, okay, Chief? Of course. What do you think, Elliot? Was that really some kind of test? Well, I'm not sure, Wilson, but I think we'd all better be careful just in case. Very careful. Hello? Yeah, put me through to Mr. Catone's suite. Meow! Hey, what's what you doing, you idiot? You almost cut off an ear. Yeah. yeah, who is it? Yeah, hello. Is that you, Mr. Nitty? Yeah, what's up? I'm calling from the police station, and I've got a very interesting bit of information that Mr. Catone might want to hear about. I'm listening. What is it? Problem, Nitty? New cops who don't seem to want to take a bribe, Senior Catone. They're staying at the Hotel Gorgonzola, but I don't know their room numbers. Don't worry, we can find that out. Thanks for the information. Come by when you want to pick up an extra ration of cheese. Thanks. Yeah, what do you want we should do with them, Mr. Catone, sir? 
Teach them a lesson so others don't follow their example. Where's Anselmi and Scalise? Waiting outside. Someone's been stealing cheese from your warehouses again, Senor Catone. Get him in here. Hey, Scalise, you think Mr. Catone's gonna be mad at us? Well, it's the fourth time in a week, so he ain't gonna give us a raise, knucklehead. And it's all because you fell asleep while you were on your watch. But when I wake up and count the boxes, there's the same number there. Okay, the boss wants you. I understand more cheese has disappeared from my warehouse. Oh, yeah. you see, boss, it's like this. Uh, come on, moron, spit it out, will ya? It weren't me, boss. It has to be Scalise. I counted all the crates before and after my watch. They were all there. That's because you can only count up to ten, you dummy. When I relieved you, some crates were already missing. Oh, no, they you weren't. Dummy. You did it. Shut up! I don't care whose fault it was. You got two days to bring me the culprit. Huh? Yeah. Otherwise, I might start thinking it's you two been stealing my cheeks. For now, I'm gonna give you a little job to do. I want you to get rid of an agent called Elliot Mouse and his two friends. Yeah, Diddy will give you the details. Huh? Now, don't let me down! Here at last! First thing I'm gonna do is hit the hay. I can sleep like a log! Guys, we could all have been resting a long time ago if Gordon hadn't made us hunt through half the city for a cheese on rye. I couldn't help being starving. That cheese the chief offered us really whetted my appetite. Your appetite doesn't need wetting, Gordon. You're always hungry. Me? Always hungry? What makes Be you say quiet that? there, young huh? man! This is a respectable hotel, and my clients don't like rowdiness. Excuse us, sir. We have three rooms reserved here under my name, Elliot Mouse. All right. Just wait a minute, and I'll have a look, okay? Mm -hmm. Well, guys, you could hardly call this place the Stilton or the Ritz. I hope the food's better than the decor. Right, here are your keys. Now, these rooms have just been newly painted, so please don't go messing them up. Thanks a bunch. Which way do we go? The second floor on the right. The stairs are that way. Hey, this stuff's heavy. Ain't we gonna wait for the bellhop? Bellhop? I take care of everything here, but as you're such a strong mouse, you wouldn't want an old man like me carrying such heavy luggage. Say what? Oh, no, of course not. Yeah, that's it. That's just about got it fixed. <laughs> now, we just tie it off. <laughs> Those cops are sure gonna get a big bang out of it when they open the door. Yeah, <laughs> bang. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Shut up, you fool. Someone's coming upstairs. These rooms may be newly painted, but the rest of the hotel... Whew. Hey, just a minute. Wait up, you guys. Wait for me, will ya? They're coming. Yeah, that's them. Come on, let's get out of here. Uh -huh. Huh? Not through the door, stupid. Out the window. Come on. To 11, to 12. Here, Gordon, let me help you, huh? I'm weak through hunger and I need something to eat. Come on, you uh, idiot. Come on, wait, now. Wait. Uh. Ah. Incredible. From what I've seen, there are at least 20 violations of hotel law on this floor alone. Ah, and I bet the rooms are full of bed bugs. 215, well, this is my room, guys. Uh. Huh? Ah! Get out! <laughs> Hey, we got him, Scalise. <laughs> Welcome to Cheese Cargo. Huh? What, 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 what was that? Loud bed bugs. <laughs> or a booby trap. Huh? What is going on? What have you ruffians been doing? Just ask the bellhop. <laughs> I love explosions. I knew my idea couldn't fail. Come on now, start the engine. We gotta let the boss know the good news right away. Hey, wait a minute. Come back here, huh? you hooligans. Huh? The plan couldn't fail, huh? huh? Move. Let's pay a call. Don't just sit there, you lame brain. Get after them. Who is going to pay for the damages? Hey, come back here! Ah! So, where is it we're going? The police station. You think the police might have had something to do with that bomb? Don't you? I couldn't say for sure, Wilson, but they're the only ones who knew where we'd be staying. Maybe the Chief's bribe wasn't just a test. Yeah, and that's why he didn't let us try his cheese, because he knew we couldn't be corrupted. So, what are we going to do now? Go down and find the traitor. Yeah, but what do we do if we find there's more than one traitor? Hit the deck! That won't hold him up for long. We better keep moving. They're getting away, you moron. Come on, move. Stop wasting time. Uh, he looks good. Is he a pretty fellow? Come on, get this car out of here before we drown. 
Elliot, they're on our tail again. Better put your foot down. I'm trying, but this has got to be the department's worst car. Okay, and Selby, we got him. Head him off the road. Ah, they're gonna force us off. Not if I can help it, they're not. Come on, push them over the edge. Get rid of them. Hold ah! on tight. nearly finished us that time. Wilson, Gordon, you guys okay? I'm okay, but there is something that'll make me feel a whole lot better. Yeah, yeah we, we know, know eating, eating a cheese, cheese sandwich. sandwich. These bad guys take their job seriously. Time they found out who they're dealing with. They got us pinned down, Elliot. That bridge could be our only hope. Cover me while I go to the other side and cut them off, Wilson. Wait, Elliot, I counted their shots. My calculations show they'll be out of ammo. Now! But now my machine gun's empty, Scalise. Keep firing! Come on, let's go! Seems like you calculated wrong. Hold it right there and drop your weapons. Mm -hmm. Hold it, you're under arrest. Come on, let's go. Hey, you guys can't get away. Who said so? I say so. Huh? Come on, they got us surrounded. Let's get out of here. What do we say to Mr. Cateau? Just start the <laughs> engine, stupid, and move it! <laughs> Cheese and crackers, we nearly had them. That's true, Gordon, but at least we got rid of them, and that's something. <laughs> but for how long? Those guys sure ain't gonna give up easy. It won't be long before we see them again. Huh? Oh! Hey, kid, you leave that car alone. Come back with that. <laughs> we won't catch him now. We're certainly getting to know the real cheese cargo quickly. And hey, I'm hungry. Our first day in Cheese Cargo has been quite something. Yeah, first they tried to bribe us, then they put a bomb in our hotel room, then they tried to drive us off the road, which they succeeded in doing, shot at us, then stripped our car. Have I missed anything out? So let's see, we got no office, no car, no friends, and nowhere to stay tonight. And if Gordon keeps sinking those cheese cocktails, we'll soon be out of money, too. You were saying something? Another one over here. We oui. Hello, boss. Ah. My star is strange but true. This ain't no fairy tale I'm telling you. So listen up, fellas, and listen good. Love made right out of me. It captured my heart only to tear it apart. Love had a spell on me. So let's get this straight from the start. What you get is what you see Love made a rat out of me I met a boy when I was sweet 16 He said that it'd always be good to me Well, to my surprise, that boy lied huh? But he was the my, last she to really is beautiful. make me cry I've heard every line a thousand times So listen and weep You're wasting your time, sweet Talking me, don't need a judge or a jury. I'm He's pleading gorgeous. guilty. Love made a rat out of oh, me. Sure I'm is. telling you, love made a rat out of me. I'm cute and I'm cool, but I'm nobody's fool. Love her, it's better on me. I'm not saying this to be cruel. Voilà, monsieur. Ah. What you get is what you 
I've ever tasted. You've just got to give me your recipe. I'm so glad you like it, monsieur. Here we are. Oh. Bonsoir, monsieur Nitti. You will have your usual table, no? Over by the stage. No, thanks, Frenchie. I don't want a table. I've come to get your order for cheese. So what'll it be this week? Well, you see, monsieur, <laughs> if I may be allowed to explain. Oh, another rip-roaring night. <laughs> Are you saying you won't buy our cheese? Oh, je suis désolé, monsieur, but these are difficult times, you know. If that big rat-faced louse thinks he can push my partner around, he's got another thing coming. Oh, oh, oh right, oh, cough it up! Oh. Where have you been getting your cheese from? Who's filling oh. you with fromage? No, 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 monsieur Nitti, we only buy cheese from you, I give you my word on it. Don't you lie to me, you French fool! Huh? Huh? Buy someone else's cheese, would ya? I think that guy's gone a little too far. Come here! Oh. Huh? What do you think you're doing? Ah, uh, Deborah, my cheese hot. How's things? Oh, well, I was just discussing a little matter with an employee of yours. Here's no employee. He's a partner. Ah, yeah, sure. Forgive me, my sweet cheese. It's my memory. <laughs> well, my little fondue, your partner was just telling me that you do not require our cheese this week. Just a mistake. There's no mistake, Nitty. Your prices are way too high. The prices are too high, and the cheese quality is very low indeed. You know that could change if you wanted it to, my cheesecake. Mwah! Come in with me, why don't you? Mwah! All the cheese in the city could be yours. Hey, now that guy's taking liberties. Mwah! 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 I'm sorry, Mr. Nitty, but I already Mwah! told you I don't want your cheese. It just ain't good enough. And as a matter of fact, I think you Mwah! should have some of it back. Mwah! Where am I? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> no one covers rat nitty in cheesecake. <laughs> you pay for that. Sorry about this, sweet cheese, but I ain't gonna be nice to you no more. Oh, I'm really heartbroken. Excuse me. Huh? Hey, don't you know it's bad manners to point a gun at a lady? Uh, that was dumb, mister. You don't know who you're talking to. You gotta be real careful. Guns can be dangerous things, you know. So it'll probably be better if I confiscate this one so no one can get hurt. Just you wait, you schmucks. I'll be seeing you again. You can bet your life on it. You got a rat's white. Come on. <laughs> All right, you know where we'll be, cheese ball. Personally, I hate seeing good cheese wasted. <sighs> that rat won't be bothering you again, miss. The name's Elliot Mouse. If you should be needing my assistance again, Thank just... Thank you, Mr. Elliot Mouse, but I know how to take care of these types myself. Now, if you will excuse me, you're not the only customer in the club. Whew, that sure is some woman, huh? Oui, monsieur. Mademoiselle Debrois has a very individual way of doing things, which brings nothing but trouble. Hmm. Speaking of trouble, I'd say that you fellas certainly know how to find it. We ain't looking for trouble. Why do you say that? For a good reason. You mean you do not know who you have just humiliated? Ah! <laughs> well, I think you'd better tell them, Pierre. Put them out of their misery. Oh, mon dieu, that was Rat Nitty, the right-hand man of El Catone. You will all leave this city now if you know what is good for you. Leave cheese cargo? That's absolutely out of the question, friend. We're not here as tourists, you know. We're special agents with a federal mouse hole of investigation. Oh, that's just what we needed. Rookie policeman. 
Sir Yuazi Wands, we have been expecting you, and may I say it is a great pleasure, monsieur, to see that you are honest policeman. So where are you going to start, mon ami? Well, we can't do very much just right now. Someone set a trap for us when we got here. We don't have a place to stay or any transport. Yeah, we haven't even got somewhere we can go and eat. C'est terrible. Perhaps you can help them, Monsieur Jack. Me? Oh, all right then. You look like decent enough mice to me, so I'll take you to a place where you'll be safe. Thank you, Monsieur Jack. Yeah, yeah thanks, thanks, Jack. Baseball is a sport that demands a high level of technique. Throwing the ball requires great skill. You gotta pitch it in such a way to strike your opponents out, because if you fall short, then the hitter will know what's coming, so he'll keep his eye on the ball. <laughs> then hit it right back at you, just like that! Yeah. Is my point getting home? Yeah. But, but, you don't have to worry about them rookies anymore. Ow! They got away, but we scared them! Hey. Oh, so there's nothing to worry about! Listen to us! Huh? I'm oh. sure they've left the city already, Bess. Senior Catone! <sighs> Senior Catone, I've got something very important to tell you! Whoa! What's that smell? You know I hate the smell of cheese, Nitty! I found out something important! So speak! Someone else is selling cheese in our district, Senior Catone, and now no one will buy our cheese. What's more, they even went to the expense of wasting it by throwing the cheesecake right in my face. You don't say. That ain't all. At Deborah's Club, there were three thugs who threw me onto the street. So who were these three bad men? I don't know, Senor. I've never seen them before. Uh, except that the head guy wore a gabardine, and there was a fat sharpshooter, and the third guy was, uh... Hey! Huh? He wears specs? Don't mention his glasses, you moron! Yeah, he did! How'd you guys know that? Huh? <laughs> well, it could be those agents who got away from us. Huh? So what we're dealing with is a group of special agents that won't take bribes like other cubs, and yet they'll defend the clubs that won't take our cheese. Let's see now. Yeah, it smells kind of fishy. All right, you two, listen to me. This time, there'll be no excuses. You stand guard together, do you understand? Sure, sure boss, we, we understand. understand. If you do see somebody stealing, don't stop them, just follow them. I gotta find out who's behind all this. Yeah, yeah boss, we'll, we'll follow, follow them. Ha-ha! <laughs> and what about me, Senior Catone? Shall I take care of those agents for ya? All in good time, Nitty, all in good time. There's no hurry. Here we are, fellas. It may look a bit of a mess, but you'll be safe here. Make yourselves as comfortable as you can for tonight. I'll try and find you something better by tomorrow. Thanks, Jack. That's a big help. Well, this isn't all bad. Yeah, at least there's a mattress over there to sleep on. Yeah, and we also got ourselves a friend at last. Elliot didn't know it yet, but Jack would become more than a friend. He would prove to be vital in their fight against organized crime. Soon, all Cheese Cargo would witness the exploits of these four brave mice. Yeah, but that, my friends, is another story. Round down, neighbor, terrible news. I read it in the